Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. Today we're continuing our journey through Marvel Phase 4. As of filming this, this is the first time that Jen and I are filming a reaction video since the birth of our son. So uh, we're really excited to get back into the swing of things. Hopefully you haven't noticed any lapse in content, but for us, it's been a while. This summer there were a lot of blockbusters and I hate that we missed them. I really wanted to watch this in theaters. There were several movies that came out I really wanted to see and uh, we just miss them because we had our son. Bad for us, good for you, because we will get to react to them for the channel. We're gonna be doing uh, Rise of the Beast, Transformers. I would really like to watch Indiana Jones, Isle of Destiny. Uh, I know that it didn't really do that well in theaters, but I still kind of want to see it. And a few other things too, Oppenheimer, stuff like that, when those maybe a little further down the line. When Guardians of the Galaxy 3 came out, uh, we got a lot of comments of people asking us to see it, what we thought of it. We didn't get a, really any spoilers, luckily, but I have been made aware of certain scenes that might affect my lovely wife maybe a little bit more, but that's all I really know about this. Um, it's also James Gunn's, I think his last Marvel project before fully taking helm over at DC, working on the new Superman movie. In a way, it's kind of a departure for him. Anyway, I am really excited to watch this for the first time. Jen's really excited to watch it for the first time, but we have a special guest today. Why don't you come over here? <laughs> It's Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. Hey, how are you, you feeling doing? watching the movie? I'll let you see, you got it. So Holden shooting that intro did a horrible job. He's very rusty. He's only eight weeks out and I haven't done this in over a year. So- Devin um, edited so I look good. So say what? Devin edits it so that I don't look as bad as I actually am in real life. Thank keep, you, Devin. Keep some of those in, please. No, don't. No, I am. I'm excited that when this came out from when we were doing My Friend Watches, Guardians, they had my heart. They really did. Still believe that nobody ever dies in these movies but I am excited to see this one. And believe it or not, I had a big interest in actually seeing this one when it was in theaters. But of course I didn't with the possibility of it being content one day for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited, yeah. You wanna get out You're of done, okay. Yeah. okay. Now, my lovely wife, Jen, who I think you weren't crazy about Guardians at first, correct me if I'm wrong, kind of grew on you during the Infinity War Endgame kind of time, time period. How are you feeling going into Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? So the first one, I was indifferent. I don't know, I just didn't think that it was the greatest. Wasn't the worst either. The second one I remember liking a lot better, although I can't pinpoint why. This is just going to really define whether when somebody asks me, what do you think of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies? It's either gonna be, oh, I liked them or eh. I didn't like two out of three, so that's generally didn't like it. I did like the characters. I have also seen comments from people, no spoilers, but definitely comments saying that this one is on the emotional side. Very interested to see what that translates to. Marvel Phase 4, for most people, the general consensus is that it's been, there have been a lot of misses more than hits. So I, I'm hoping that with Guardians 3, we get a, we get a hit and we can I mean, we're really emotionally invested into these characters, so I'm hoping that the third entry of the Guardians films is gonna be solid. So I'm really looking forward to it. But before we get into the movie, we can't forget the... <laughs> comments of the day! Is that what y'all are doing nowadays? <laughs> Today is comment of the day. Uh, gosh, man, I cannot... <laughs> hey, Devin, please leave a little bit of it in. If they knew how often please that happened leave a little bit in. How, how much has to be edited to make me look... <laughs> coherent at all. Today's comment of the day comes from Gameflyer001, who said the Iron Giant is voiced by Ben Diesel. We just did the Iron Giant on the channel, who later voices Groot in the Guardians of the Galaxy films. Groot's sacrifice at the end of the first film provides a good comparison to Iron Giant's sacrifice here. Yes, thank you so much for that comment of the day. Ben Diesel does the voice of Groot, also did the voice of Iron Giant. He only ever says like a couple things in, for both characters, literally just one line for Groot. Anyway. That was the same thing in the Fast and Furious. <laughs> <laughs> Family, okay. Uh, thank you so much for your comment of the day. If you'd like your comment featured in a comment of the day, leave us a comment down below. We'll check those out for now. Let's go ahead and get into it. Guardians of the Galaxy, volume three. Special thanks to Factor for sponsoring today's video. It is two days after the baby has been born and Jen put in an order for some factor meals for us to make it a lot easier to to prepare food and prepare meals. Oh, got some hiccups. Because uh, we do not want to be worrying about cooking or anything like that. You see? Oh, you see the hiccups. You're doing so good. Oh. Um. 
our baby was born two months ago and it has been incredible. Except for maybe the sleep deprivation. We mentioned before that we were counting on factor at the latter half of Jen's pregnancy and in the weeks following the birth of our son, and that's exactly what we've done. If you don't know, Factor provides fresh, never frozen, dietitian designed meals right to your doorstep. Every week we get to pick from over 34 meals, all of which are ready to eat in two minutes or less. It's cheaper than fast food and eating out, and it's actually nutritious for you. We get everything from pasta to steak. I had salmon last night, and I can't tell you how great it is having all this stuff ready to go that doesn't make you feel like death after you eat it the way that fast food does. Jen and I are sponsored by Factor, but we're also customers. So there's been times where we've had to pause our subscription and times where we've increased the amount of food that we want over the week all of which you can do with no problem at all. They have plans for those of you that are calorie conscious with meals around or lower than 550 calories per serving. Those of you who are trying to get more protein in your diets, they have meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. And we trust it for our baby who is only drinking breast milk right now. Head to factor75.com, use code HOLDEN50 and you'll get 50% off your very first Factor box. That's factor75.com and use code HOLDEN50 and get 50% off your first Factor box. Remember, supporting the sponsor helps support the channel, so make sure you go and check them out. You should also have some lumbar control if needed. <laughs> Thank you, Valencia. If you want to get your own theater seat, we have a link. In. We actually do have a link. Gamora died. Oh, Not true. Well, she came... Well, an alternate version of herself came back. But, Precisely. But the but the Gamora that we knew is dead. Oh, shut up. Maybe we'll explore a little bit of that as well. We probably should have rewatched that. Oh, look at those little raccoons. This is gonna be bad. Wait, is that our little guy? I'm thinking probably. Item. Sorry. <gasps> oh. I like that bomb. Wasn't well, this the last one Batista was going to be in? No. Oh. He just said, if, if Gun's gone, I'm gone. Oh, okay. But Gun's back. Is there more plan? For Guardians? I don't... I don't know. Dance! Holy idiots dance. <laughs> the nice slow intro, honestly. Yeah, the, uh, the feel is already way different than, yep. like, the first and second one. Yep. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, that's a, that's a, uh, that's not really him, but it's a real thing she's carrying. Real. It's a lifelike dummy. Wow. That she's carrying. Forgotten Groot being so big. I got emotionalistical issues. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Why are you on the ceiling? <laughs> you must know you will never let him. You think you could do better? Oh. Duh. I love this space dog. It's Cosmo, the space dog. Now I get it. That's hilarious. <laughs> Telekinesis is cheating! That's a stupid little pebble! You're a bad dog. Do not say that to me. You are. <laughs> Adam Warlock. Who the heck is that? They teased him at the end of Guardians 2. Uh, she's like, and I will call him Adam. And he was like, uh, oh, thing. yeah, yeah. Ah! Where did you go, squirrel? Squirrel. Sounded just like Minority Report, those guns. Oh. 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 Jeez. Who is that maniac? Now's your moment. Oh. He'll regrow. Yeah. <laughs> Who threw this thing at me? Who <laughs> threw this thing at me? Is he wearing like a onesie pajama set? Oh. 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 Talk about a flick of the wrist. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, they're not gonna kill him off. No. I, I wouldn't imagine so. No, they won't, Jen. 
A, it's way too early to even try it, and B, no one ever dies. Oh. Hey, opa. Talk about your heartburn. Good for her. Oh. Oh, because he's a mutant, they would try and fix him, like, or not a mutant, but because he's not naturally like this. Maybe it would try to, like, revert him back to, oh, babe, are you okay? Are they killing him off? No. Matt, you said they wouldn't. They're not gonna kill him off, Jen. One of the characters is currently headless. He's gonna be <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh, is that the bad guy? Yeah. Of course. Oh. Oh my gosh. That sucks. Oh no. Oh, his head. Oh my gosh. Okay, baby. It'll be all right. Is that an otter? It's okay. You're here with us now. What kind of thing are you? Oh. The walrus? Does it work? Is that a bunny rabbit? It's okay, friend. I ride with the heartstrings. Do you hear him? Sorry. It hurts. It's okay, baby. Oh, baby, it's okay. Sorry, I covered that part. It's okay. Yeah, if you shut your mouth. I'm just kidding. I, 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 I will tell you. Falcon, come over here, bro. Come on. You're gonna be okay. There has to be some way to bypass it. It looks like there's a pass key that could override the kill switch. Kill anyone who gets in our way. Not kill anyone. <laughs> kill a few people. <laughs> one guy, one stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's our cool ship. I don't know if I can do these flashbacks, yeah, guys. Yeah, a lot of, it's a lot of cuteness. Hero kind of looks like that right now, but the big old head, you know. What? Big, big head, cute little head. That was a bit of a reach. What? No, no, he looks like a. Your child doesn't look like a raccoon. Or perhaps you simply overestimate your own value. Hi. Did, he, did my man did stand just, on a box? Did he did just step on it? a box? He's barely taller. Or still. Yeah. <laughs> I was stabbed, you extraordinary. <laughs> Return it to me. Or I will destroy your entire civilization. Do you understand? They have some cool yeah. prosthetics yeah, and the, makeup. The skin stretchy yeah. effect looks good. Reminds me of Stranger Things for some reason. Instead of being built, it's grown from living matter. That's cool. Oh, there you go. I hadn't been drinking. Maybe Rocket. I'm Aww. sorry. My mother, Yondu, Gamora. Yeah, Peter's gotta be going through some stuff. He could still be alive. My grandpa? I mean, people on Earth die when they're like 50. Are you about to die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. Hey guys, they were in, uh, you're second. about to be boring by the United I don't remember Fathers. that at all. Uh oh, we got, we got uh, well, the Doctor Strange type. You're early. <laughs> you're gonna have to wear these to move through the Orgo. This isn't my color. <laughs> because I didn't want you to get freaked out. Freaked out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why they couldn't use their sorcerer to, and then, you know, into the room they need to go into. That would make the movie about 10 minutes yes. long. Oh. That's the new world. It blew. That's the sky. Oh. Sky. Rocket. Yes, it is. This recording is over 5,000 years old. Be not as you are, but as you should be. It's our secret mission. I've developed a process by which I can guide any organism. What, what did he put in there? Oh, a turtle? It turns into Raphael. I was gonna say, Jen, you might not wanna watch this one. Cowabunga! Wait, what did, what did he do to it? He's like making it evolve over millions of years. There's the rub. Oh, okay. They're programmed to be peaceful. Who's up for turtle soup? All right, babe. And then, boop, boop, boop. Half cysteine residual will be forming. And then, angry turtles. Is... He's like, so we just killed that turtle for no reason. <laughs> We're ready, Zordon. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, the Martian. Yeah. I'm the only one that's grossed out I mean, at the surface. Yeah. Pretty nasty, but... They have to do the hairs. I mean, it's the juiciness oh. for me. Yeah. It's like a lava lamp. <laughs> what it's like to chew five gum. <laughs> so you really don't remember anything about your time with us? Wasn't me. Burn. You were everything to me. But there's a possibility. I don't think so, Quinn. Quill. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Well, what I'm trying to say is... Peter, you know this is an open line. <laughs> <laughs> 
oranges for blue. What? <laughs> <laughs> Seems intuitive. <laughs> I was just thinking that. He's a little big. Guys, Corey, you know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's uh, James Gunn's wife, girlfriend, wife. Is that James Gunn? No, that's Nathan Fillion there. He's a really good friend of James Gunn. Hurry! Why is everything squishy? What the hell was that, guys? Throw the door open without any proper precautionary procedure? What procedure, bro? Oh, you want to? <laughs> I'm angry too. Oh, no. He's a little. Yeah, I. I got one of those too. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I'm gonna throttle him. I'm gonna go to jail for murder. I am. Looks like we're all clear here. They jettison their suits out. Damn it, Mantis! Why don't you ever think? Apologies. No problem. I'm gonna need to see you. You're hopelessly in love with him. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Such a lovely name. I'll get the door for you. I'll handle this one. How? Pure Star Lord charm. Hi. Hi. My name's Patrick Swayze. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, a bit brighter. We need your hand. <laughs> she was totally into me, man. I kind of thought you were a douchebag. Oh, come on. <laughs> Whoever it was that you were in love with, it wasn't me. It sounds more like her. Yes, right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Never noticed how black your eyes were. Replaced by my father as a method of torture. <laughs> Heads up, heads up. Stand down! Tracks. Lower your weapons or I blow this woman's brain out! That's the plan! Feel like dancing. <laughs> Violet. <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> Just hit him with another round of HGH, he'll be fine. Oh. He needs some milk. Blowing everybody down. They get us into the system of those sentries out there. They are good people like you. They will listen if I speak to them from my heart. Tell them your truth. Yeah, I'm not that big of an idiot. I just needed to get into the system. When we get there, there will be sky. We're gonna need names. Would like my name to be Lila. My name shall be Teeths. <laughs> Mine are definitely the most prominent. <laughs> Lord. Because me is lying on floor. Me and my friends are gonna go fly into the forever and beautiful sky. Rocket. You just know something horrible is gonna happen to yep, all of them. For sure. Mm -hmm. And just give us those cutesy moments. Yep. This is worse than what Thanos did to me. Oh, jeez. Trap isn't a trap if you know the trap is trying to trap you. It's a face off. A face off <laughs> is a drop me off with my people now. Your people? My Gamora? The one I love, she didn't find it with a group of criminals. She found it with us. Somewhere inside of you. What are you so afraid of in yourself that I need to be something for you? Ooh, jeez. I'm family. So is he. Burn. Screw all of you. Nebula's had a lot of character development. Yeah. Where is she now? You ain't getting nothing from me! Oh, we'll see about that. Show him we mean business. <laughs> to him we mean business, not disintegrate. <laughs> friends, you think that's a friend? Oh. <laughs> Looks sad. This is Gamora, are you there? <laughs> oh, I love this song. Imagine Dragons? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Life is a pond. And you've spent your entire life leaping from woman to woman. I didn't know that you were capable of that type of thought. 
No, lots of analogies, Quill. He won three! Here we go. He won three! Was he drunk? The sire was in the middle of his treatments. Oh, ooh. There you are. Hello. How did you know? Oh, no. I made you! How did you know? Guys, look. Because confident. it worked. It, it worked. They fixed it. He's so Planet of the Apes. Ready to inhabit the new Caesar. world. Caesar. We're going to the new world? Cobbled together by fat fingered children. How could you oh, this, dude? be part of a perfect species? Aww. Figure out the complex workings of cytoplasmic filtration systems, but you couldn't figure out that? Prep it for surgery and removal in the morning. What about the rest of Batch 89, Sai? Ah. Incinerate them. Yep. I'm sure someone will save them. Oh, baby. Oh, so Not the other three, they're gone. No, my daughter will make it. It's like a replica of Earth. It makes no sense. That's like the Twilight Zone. It's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. It is. 60s? Yeah. 70s? We mean you no harm. <laughs> hey, <ow>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kaiju. Kaiju. It's like a Godzilla. Hi. That she's supposed to be a bat. We just need to save our friend. I will train it in the ways of the sovereign. <laughs> My wife, when she gets a new dog. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> What it's here for. Drax, sit up! <laughs> My friend is a dumbass. Yeah. This is sick. Me. <laughs> I'm gonna draw the man that we're looking for. Have you seen this man? <laughs> is that your car in the driveway? Yeah. <laughs> what? Push it down. I am pushing down on it. There's a button under the handle. Press that in. Okay. Now what? Open the fucking door. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they get their one. That was ill placed, but appreciated. Oh, I think I do remember that. Uh, something about that. That being like the first F word in uh, the MCU. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he never learned how to drive on Earth. Is that the zoom? Yeah. <laughs> Must be drugs. Yeah. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Like how the perfect world is just New York. <laughs> <laughs> this is the perfect Am <laughs> I the only one getting nauseated? Jeez. If I survive on 30 calories a day and I was sleep a week, they're always happy. But will she be ready for the new colony? The high evolutionary is expecting you. Which means it is a trap. It's a face-off. <laughs> Are you okay, Rocket? <laughs> This is horrible. Me and Rocket can play now? I can't right now, Floor. What are you doing? They ain't gonna set us free. We're going to the new world any day now. I'm gonna make the island. Mm -hmm. They wanna kill us all in the morning, <gasps> but I'm gonna fix it. What is that? It's a key. Just down that hall, there's ships. And then we'll all fly away together. Just like we always said, okay? Okay. Well, they're not there in any of the movies, so we know something goes wrong at some point. Yeah, but they want to fill you with hope, don't they? What, Boston? Like, you know damn well. What, you know all that beef jerky and you just let me sit there? It really is good to have fun. Wait, what happened? A shot in the back. <gasps> I imagined you'd do something like this. You ought to be killing me. God, Holden. Oh, jeez. Sky. Oh. Oh, no. Rocket Chief Score, go now. Rocket Chief Score. Why are we watching this? It's this okay. is terrible. It's all right. Jeez. This guy sucks. I hope he kinda dies. Oh, there you go. Kill him, kill him, kill him. That's why his face had to be glued back on. 
Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, good call. Threaded him up. Ooh. Reminded me of the monkey with the AK. It's okay, babe. Oh! It's you realize okay. like 70% of this movie is like abusing animals? Yeah. Yeah. We're like SeaWorld. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm terrible. laughs> Makes you feel any better. They've killed less animals than PETA. It will make going back to the first Guardians different, you know, knowing his backstory. <laughs> <laughs> the noise was really funny. The guy on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I would advise against aggression. Oh, gravity itself serves my whims. War pig. War pig. Earth would be a fabulous place were it not for the ignorance and bigotry. Okay. I don't care. It's ironic because he's bigoted towards Earth. <laughs> yeah, true. I'm not trying to conquer the universe. I'm perfecting it. Ah, there we go. Okay. I didn't think there was going to be enough time. Yeah, it be overarching. Um, Antagonist. Space toilets. American style yeah. toilets, you know? Like four foot gaps in the, <laughs> the doorways. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Better universes generally don't include a bunch of octopuses selling meth. Guys with cockroach heads. <laughs> so you two have been to New Orleans. <laughs> Got out to our New Orleans phase. <laughs> I have to raise it all and start again. Oh, there you go. I am Groot. Kill them all. <laughs> Back off. Oof. Okay. Oh. Looks like we're having bacon for breakfast. Why is he carrying the head? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Beaver family didn't make it. <laughs> it's funny because he probably would be a beaver. Oh. <laughs> They were standing there hugging. Oh. <laughs> oh. Falcon. Oh, he's got a conscience, it seems. He's gonna try and save his mom. Oh. oh. Got a little backstory for him now. We're not at the ship. Then where the hell are you? <laughs> what kind of ship is this? Is Rocket just on the floor somewhere? Yeah. Okay. It's not a trap. It's a face off. Now face off. Oh, okay. Wow. Is that a new development? <laughs> I am she really wants to be praying right about now. <laughs> <laughs> the balls with your tail. Hey. That'd be premature. Huh? No, 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 no. You'll kill us both! Not both! Flying now, is that what you mean? Oh, that's more like falling with style. Two Toy Story references. <laughs> you think that was meant to be comical? Probably. Because that yeah. was really funny. We are entering space. Oh, gosh. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Using the excuse of being some big dumb clown for contributing nothing, and the rest of us having it. It's not his fault, he's stupid. Hmm. The liability. He makes it impossible. Yeah, this is us arguing over Boston. <laughs> and competence. I'm not sure I appreciate this defense. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm stupid? <laughs> I don't know if they want to unlock those kids just yet. You got them all in one spot. And we don't. Need then there's Matt. <laughs> well, there. We got them all safe in one spot. <laughs> Trying to rescue these kids. Then there's Matt. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what, if, what if we left him in the cage? <laughs> oh, he's seeing the light. Oh. Uh, okay. Rocket. I let you down. I got you killed. I got everybody.
The sky is beautiful, and it is forever. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging out in his jazzy. Can I come? Yes. Not yet. You ought to go back with your friends. I'm gonna slap you. What the hell are you doing? What was that? Well, it's a... <laughs> It's okay, babe. Oh, no. it's He's okay. gonna die. I don't know. No, it's the entire plot of this movie. They made us for nothing. There are the hands that made us, and then there are the hands that guide the hands. Is that in the Bible somewhere? Uh, similarly. Yeah. My beloved raccoon. I'm not a raccoon. <laughs> I'm not a raccoon. <laughs> the pesky. Every time, Thank Josh. God. Every time. And technically, his friends didn't die either. No, they're dead. No, they're not. Aww. I can't breathe, guys. Are you crapping? Oh, I was, was going to oh. say something. Was Wait, where are you? On the ship! You know what I'm saying? On the ship? I didn't lie. Why are you on the ship? Why now I always figure out an incredibly clever way to get out of a fix! Tell him I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention or play with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing is, we're all okay. Rocket? Oh, Nebula cares. Oh, she oh, cares really a lot. Cares. Oh, okay. Back in your cages! Yeah, here comes Matt. <laughs> <laughs> we asked Matt to babysit. <laughs> they will die unless you bring me what is mine! Trench faced Robocop looking Skeletor wannabe! <laughs> The Soviets put me on a rocket, <laughs> knowing full well I'm never to return and I'll die. Howard the Duck there. Just take it back. From that first this one. She is, in fact, a bad dog. Oh. Never stops hurting. <laughs> You're the one who lost it, you twist. <laughs> I just keep thinking of you. Hopeless, unable to think, what hasn't yet been thought will die on the vine. <laughs> It's the second time she's fallen like that. I need you to let all the other children on board know to stay away from the starboard wall. What the hell are you doing, Manta? Explaining it, dickhead! <laughs> Here comes Matt. Ah, oh, he's gonna be a Hello, dumb idiots. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hit a little girl like you. You know what she used to like? Monkey noises. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. How's that a monkey? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Beats me. How exhausting does that to be? To be doing that in the third version. Frank Eck. Lolo Lucky Eck. They can speak the language. Well, why didn't you ask? <laughs> Gosh. I am Groot. I know who you are already! Feel free to stay behind in the cargo area. Sovereign. Oh, nowhere. Back up! Yes, sire. The third barrel. Fourth barrel. She's gonna hit. <laughs> Fire! Oh. The house fund were created solely to defend the new colony. Right now! Self-destruction code. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Maybe they're just scared of what we are gonna do to them. We're not gonna hurt you. This isn't my wife. With some stray rabbit animal. I think that dude has like a constant headache. I do miss seeing this thing. The arrow. That's gotta be something you feel. Your heart, your heart yeah. Oh, cool. Aww. He's dead. It's just it's in his sure mind. Sure he is. Sure he is. Pretty wicked weapon. It is. It's one of the most Pretty like, powerful. proficient. Uh oh. Oh, wow. She's a good dog. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, get off me, you idiot. For God's sake! There is no God! That's why I stepped in! Oh. Oh, okay, Dan. Okay. Poor homegirls just operating the phones and have to die. I know. <laughs> Need to be good, Juju. Huh? It means friends. If oh, Hana. I'm done running. <laughs> Pretty cool. Jeez. Pretty cool shot. No! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Wow. Jeez. I guess stuck to the wall. It's a pretty fun fight sequence. Yeah. These like one-er fights are mm -hmm. becoming more popular. Like no cuts. Oh, okay. They're hidden cuts, really, but yeah. Pilot the ship. You guys save all the higher life forms. Hello, moron. <laughs> go, go! Go! Ah! I feel like they're underutilizing Adam Warlock. Ah! No. Oh my gosh. What? Yes, you're welcome. I'll do it. Go help the others. Somehow gonna kill her. Crack one. Locking up, Captain. Go, now. Locking in and headed down. What are you doing this? I tried to kill you. I am good. Everyone deserves a second chance. And that's the moral of the story. <laughs> you are so strong. Why are you so slow? <laughs> <laughs> So sad. Oh. oh, good lord. Oh, free them all. I don't think these are super smart ones. We might want to keep them locked up and carry them See out. See what I'm saying? <laughs> That's cool. You got plenty of time, Rocket. The whole place is blowing up. <laughs> all the other animals are like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> but you're only saving your own kind. Okay. <laughs> No! There you go. There he is. You thought you could escape me! Oh. Oh no. You're an abomination! What's wrong with this guy? I don't know. He's got a big old god complex. Three, one, three! The name's Rocket Raccoon. Finally accepted himself as he is. Is that like the original name? Rocket yeah. Raccoon? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 his face is hanging on. What was that noise, Jen? So <laughs> oh, there you go. You're peeling back the emotions. All right. Finally, your true face. <laughs> his face came off. It's a mask. Off. Oh. <laughs> Actually, it looks really good. <laughs> Want to make things perfect? You just hated things the way they are. There it is. Kill him. He's not gonna kill him. I'm better than that. I've learned the lesson. I'm not you. you. Got all the kids on board? No, Pete. The rest of them. Animals. This would be Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Noah's Ark is running towards you. Jen saving the anteaters and everything. They're innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Go, baby. There you are. <laughs> what a monkey attack. That's so great. What is that? His ridge wallet? His uh, Zune. I'm pretty sure Daniel Craig did this in one of the James Bond movies. I'm glad they saved all the animals. <laughs> I'm glad Cosmo's in this so I can get some representation. <laughs> Oh no, he's fading away. I love that whole oxygen. Oh, there you go. You gotta reach. Oh. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Should have had an iPod. That's the 
yeah. gently touch the oh, no painting. Mind. Everybody deserves a second chance. <laughs> <laughs> God, please, I can't take it anymore. Oh, God. Cool. Yeah. Come on. I don't know. I'm okay. <laughs> I'll just be over here. <laughs> First time at the prayer circle at church. <laughs> I'm Groot. Thanks. Just tell them I'm gonna be right. Does she understood him? Yeah. I am Groot. You know, I'm still not who you want me to be. Who you are ain't so bad. I bet we were fun. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. <clears throat> Your mother died in front of me when I was eight years old, and I have been running ever since. But you need someone to protect you because of your incredible weakness. Oh, my God, you're so frustrating. <laughs> you weren't born to be a destroyer. You were born to be a dad. Sort of like you. Uh -huh. So that's it? The group's over? You will make a better leader than I ever was, Captain. I love you guys. Hey, Tommy, he can, oh! Tommy, he can speak the whole time. Or maybe we're just understanding it now. <laughs> I would love to see this re-edited to have uh, just like Nicki Minaj's WAP over the <laughs> <laughs> So this is Earth culture. <laughs> Get a puppy in okay, the right, stop, stop. Stop. Same year that won awards, uh, Baby It's Cold Outside was banned on the radio. That right? won awards? Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh my lord. I just thought that that was very ironic. for Jason Quill? Uh, yes. Come in. Hey. Who is that? Who is that actor? Oh. Oh. Hi, Grandpa. Oh. Quick ending. Okay, how about your favorite musical act? Britney Spears and corn. Good, Good girl. Jeez. <laughs> Group, wake up. Jeez. Do you ever feel a little sad for them? These animals are okay to put down. Yeah, right? <laughs> hey! I need to help mowing her lawn, I'll do it, but I kind of feel like her son should help. Don't get me started. Oh, really? Hey, Kevin Bacon. Bacon. The holiday special. Kevin Bacon. All right, we just finished watching Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This was a first time watch for all of us. I really enjoyed it. I know we're all gonna give some of our thoughts and opinions on it. Matt, would you like to go first and let us know your profound thoughts on Guardians 3? No, I'll go last, it's all right. Go ahead, Holt. Overall, I really enjoyed it. The only thing I felt that might have been misused was probably Adam Warlock. Now, I will admit, I don't know a whole ton about him from the comic, but I do know a couple of things. And regardless, whether I did or not, just the way that the MCU set him up from Guardians 2, just seeing sort of the execution of him in this, especially seeing his power set, leads me naturally to think that there was supposed to be more or more is supposed to be done with him. And he kind of was sort of reduced to having this really great entrance and then trying to save mom and he's kind of, I don't know, I, I, I just, I have the sense that they, more was supposed to be done with him. It almost felt like there was a bunch of other stuff shot or included Adam Warlock that just uh, didn't pass or were cut on the cutting room floor. Emotionally, I feel like this is probably the most emotional Guardians movie, if not one of the more emotional MCU movies in general. I love seeing all the stuff with Rocket. It was extremely depressing. Uh, and I know that Jen probably feels that it was the most depressing of, of all, given that she's such a big animal lover. Gamora coming back, that's always kind of tough because it's not the same character. It's really like introducing another character, but I thought that they handled it well, especially with them being like, you're not her, but you're kind of her, except you're really not. The overall ending, like conclusion of it with them kind of disbanding the Guardians makes some sense to me. I think that it makes sense moving forward with the MCU, just kind of where it's at, that they're all kind of gonna go do something or do something independently. The new Guardians is formed with, the, with the Rocket as the leader. I, I enjoyed quite a bit. Um, I thought that that made a lot of sense. Overall, I did enjoy it. Jen, what did you think of Guardians of the Galaxy 3? I thought it was okay. I think I like the second one better than this one. This one felt 
longer, like they were dragging it out at times. However, I really enjoyed the focus on Rocket and his story. I think that background was really, really important. It was a huge missing part. The animal stuff, 70% of this movie was animal torture. I really was not prepared for that at all. I didn't think that I'd be watching Guardians of the Galaxy and I'd be watching like animals be massacred. It was really hard to watch, but the saving grace was at the end when they saved all the animals. I really enjoyed that. And then of course they had the scene where the monkey almost bit that woman's face That was off. great. It was like scratching it. It's uh, so great, so great. <laughs> the music, a majority of the time, I'm just like, that is the perfect song for that scene. Yep. So kudos to them for that. Overall, I thought it was great. The ending, I applaud them for kind of going uh, off road as far as like it not necessarily being like a happy ending as far as like the audience eyes you know they're kind of disbanding but they're all going on their own paths and following what they are intending on doing so i really appreciate that and um overall i thought it was a decent movie all right matt mm, yep you, you can just there it's fine there there okay on the couch where I mean, yep. wherever i don't got care. it actually also let's get you in here uh, so uh, gotta tell you, I did feel rusty watching, you know, it, um, it's definitely obvious it's been quite some time since I've done this, but, uh, you wanna help me read? Oh, apologies. Be not as you are, but as you should be. There was this pull in the movie between being who you are and being how you should be. So I don't know if that's like a, a self-betterment type thing. You know, the main villain was like, uh, you know, I want, I want the world to be perfect. I want you to be perfect. He was working on these specimens that he was constantly trying to perfect. The sticky environment just felt so gross. I was so glad to be away from that intestine-filled world. This movie did have great comedic timing. I feel like uh, Guardians always does a great job with that, but this one, they had subtle comedy and then they had in your face comedy i think they did a great job with it a problem that i have with this movie is the big conflict the setup conflict resolution the big conflict is we're saving rocket which i get it but i just didn't expect the entire movie to be hinged on just saving rocket that said it was cool to see the backstory of rocket uh, it was incredibly sad you're right thought it was weird it wasn't bad but it's just a strange anyway the villain the main villain is wearing a mask that Rocket ultimately put on him. Thought that was kind of cool. Thought that was kind of cool. Also, the mask, I think, is a metaphor of all of the things that he's hiding. <laughs> I thought it was a weird spot where they, they hid the pass key, new operating system for Rocket or whatever. <laughs> um, I thought it was a strange spot that they hid it on the lackey, you know? Like it wasn't in some sort of forest or secret mountain anyway whatever i love the cosmonaut dog <laughs> i thought that was so cool i didn't get it at first and then i was like oh that's so cool that they made because i've always had a problem with that that they just shot that dog up and just die <laughs> I just, i've never done never done well with that uh there was an overarching theme that everyone deserves a second chance i think that's been done to death but i still like that there was that overarching thing i'm still not who you want me to be gamora saying that uh, for obvious reasons uh, but that was just, it was the tone underlying this entire movie. And then I want you to, I want to make you better. Question, how do you feel about Groot saying, I love you guys versus I am Groot? How do you feel about that? Brings the audience in because the running True. theme is for outsiders, they don't understand. They only hear I am Groot. So it's that moment where the audience actually feels like, they're part of the team. Yeah. Similarly, there was a Pokemon movie where, you know, Pika, Pikachu, you know, it's a similar thing where Pika, Pikachu's talking and they're all like, oh, there's Timmy's stuck in the well. Same kind of thing. And then in the movie, one of the 18 million Pokemon movies, there's a time where Pikachu starts speaking like English. Jen, you touched on a couple things. I felt like there was some tropiness uh, to it. I know you touched on some of that too. There was uh, a lot of fluff at the end. As well. The villain, uh, the high evolutionary, was fine. I feel like we've seen so many God complex, Messiah complex villains at this point where that's been kind of done to death. 
Thanos was that way too, but it was less, I am God, that's what, and more of, I am the only one that can do this. That kind of, like this sort of false humbleness that Thanos had versus this arrogance. Uh, the, the main villain in Venom was the same way. It's like, the, you know, there is no God, so now I will be the one, you know, whatever. And we've, I feel like we've just seen that to death. So I'm just like, all right, come on, let's get to you being killed. Yeah, well, and I don't know what the point was, but in the very beginning when Homeboy had to step on a step stool to sit the tower over Homegirl, it's just very- I mean, same, I mean, yeah, same kind of thing. I'm the you know, evolutionary. Gamora and Peter, I would have liked to have seen a lot more about that, about, you know, Peter dealing with that. They dealt with, you know, him kind of nonverbal emotions about it, but as far as like, this is the woman he loves and she, this is a different person. What does that do to you? And why would Gamora, if she is the same Gamora from 2014, the first movie, she was abrasive, but she was still able to be, you know, soft deep down. So she didn't die? Like no one else died no, in this? There's well, no, no, that, she, there's no consequence. That Gamora is dead. Do you have some thoughts on that? I can tell. Well, I truly felt like throughout the movie that they were egging on that moment where they were gonna finally have like a concrete conversation. I felt like he mentioned or said certain things every now and then, but they really didn't delve into it as much as I would have liked them to. What would we all rate this one? You went last on reviews, you go first with rating. Nice. <laughs> We don't oh, have to all oh, be on okay, the same got spot. <laughs> I know it's a cliche, but for me, people never die in this. There's many people that came back and all that crap, but I still give this a solid seven. I think it was a good flick. Never watch it again, but yeah. Emotion wise, I really think they nailed it with making us like break our hearts for Rocket. And I True. Think, I think it's done better than a majority of the MCU movies in the past in that regard. Marvel humor, you brought up, that's uh, a strength and a weakness because I think audiences are generally getting over it. Mm. Uh, I do think that this one, this one felt natural. Yeah. It felt like it wasn't too much. It felt kind of like that classic Marvel humor. I appreciated it, but I could see an argument being made for stop it. You know, let the let this be sad and just let it be sad. I enjoyed it though. Uh, for me, I think I'm right where Jen is with how she felt about two. Um, I would I would I would parry this with about being as good as the second one, which I liked a lot. For me, I'll go about a 7.5 on this. Jen, last. Save the best for last. What would you rate Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? This is tough because I don't remember what I rated the other two. But I have to mention that I really liked what they did with Nebula in this one oh, in particular. Her, yeah. I thought she was fantastic. I appreciate them kind of focusing on Rocket because I like Rocket as a character. I do tend to kind of agree with Matt as far as like, it's kind of weird that it was that much. They could have focused on some other things that could have been wrapped up that the audience was looking for. So I'm gonna go with the 6.5. 6.5. I okay. like it. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate Ultimately, it. I think this movie falls prey to a lot of the third entry in a bunch of trilogies where trying to cram maybe yes. too much at one time. Adam Warlock, Peter and Gamora, uh, all the stuff with Rocket, introducing a new villain, the high evolutionary, still kind of tied to Rocket, a conclusion with the Sovereign, a lot of that stuff. So I think that was the ultimate crutch. Um, but of course, we will extend it on to you guys. We'd love to know what you think of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing Matt. For some of you, you might not even know who Matt is, but if you're a longtime viewer, you know exactly who Matt is. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe, you'll be notified when we post the next video. Check out Patreon. You can watch the full length reaction with us over there as well as a bunch of other fun perks too like early access exclusive videos a bunch of cool stuff but for now that is it jen and i and matt appreciate you watching we'll catch you in the next video take care thanks for having me back guys <laughs>